I am now going to replace the main gear of this eSky Belt CPX. Okay, if you follow these instructions, you may not need to adjust these blades afterwards. Because the key to that is that this point should be at the same position when you're done with the, the whole thing with changing this gear. So the key to that is making sure this is aligned here, it should be tight fit before you start screwing at anything. And that is the case right now. So start by unscrewing these linkages around this swash plate. Now you don't have to unscrew the blades, but I will do it anyway, just because when we drag the axle out, it will be uh, easier if we don't have the blades in the way. But you can leave them here if you want to. But as I said, I will take them off. Bend this to the rear at the same time as you releasing the swash plate screw here which holds the swash plate in, in place normally. So now the swash plate can be moved freely and it will be possible to drag the whole axle up as soon as the gear is free. So now you just have to unscrew the gear and when the screw is out you can easily drag this axle up it can be a little bit tricky to get the screw out as it's quite small. Okay, so now the gear is loose. So just take uh, something flat, insert it here, and bend a little carefully. Then it will be it will be e very easy to take everything out. So here you have the main gear, you can see that it's weared out completely here. So we need one of, one of these. But uh, this other gear is actually fine, so I'm, I'm going to leave that one and just change uh, the top gear. You can align the gear by looking straight from the top down in the helicopter. Now you see that the hole is in the middle so then you can continue with inserting the axle. Just take the axle and see to that you have this hole in the same direction as you left the hole down here which should be out against you because otherwise you won't be able to insert the screw. and insert the screw through the axle. When you're done, just bend this out again and reconnect the swash plate with the linkage here. and reconnect the blades again. And you're done! But remember to also check these blade angles. And it's always fun to hear some comments, so please give some comments, I have something fun to read.